Hi friends, uh, what is up? How are things going? Um, this is, the, welcome back to the Lefty Agenda. Um, I see a lot of bullshit on the internet, as I'm sure many, many of you do as well. And sometimes the bullshit isn't long enough to make a whole, like, video essay out of. It's just, you know, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a micro dose of bullshit that I get from the internet. And, and I feel like talking about it, but again, I don't want to write out a whole script and do like a whole, you know, video essay, like journalistic approach into it kind of a thing. So I figure, um, I'm going to talk about it right now. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this bullshit that I saw. So hopefully y'all like it. Um, the other day I, uh, I was watching YouTube as I do big fan of, you know, watching YouTube videos, probably more than I am of making them to be honest, <laughs> but I was watching YouTube and a advertisement came up to me for a service that was called endless options. Uh, endlessoptions.com is where I was directed to. And it was um, interesting to say the least. I uh, I saw some interesting kind of pickup artistry uh, techniques that people were talking about on there. And I wanted to, to give it a watch and see what y'all thought about it. The, you know, 23, 22 subscribers that I have. So, um, yeah, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave the video a like. Um, it helps me out in the algorithm. And, uh, yeah, let's get uh, get going on this. The first thing I wanted to bring up was uh, this video that it directs you to. You put in your name and, I believe, an email address, and it directs you to kind of like a what is this all about kind of video. And I'm not going to play the whole video because it's like a half an hour long like intro video, but uh, there were some like very uh, choice selections I, I got from them that I'm going to talk about. So this is from EndlessOptions.com. Important than any of that is I did something really weird. I spent 26 months and $254,811.32 testing every single theory on how to attract women online. I hired a team of virtual assistants to make hundreds of Tinder accounts, testing different bios and different openers. I spent over $20,000 on running Facebook and Instagram ads directly to various dating profiles I was testing. I crawled through broken glass, trying to figure out the perfect online dating system. That was that was the first part. That's one of the first things you kind of hear when you're getting into the video. Um, and uh, yeah, can we just say like, what a turbo simp, like what a fucking turbo simp this guy is. Like, I don't know, um, $250,000 to like, talk to people on tinder is that does that strike anybody else as weird like i don't know maybe just maybe just say something nice maybe just say hi but you know he would he would have a big rebuttal on how like oh you're not gonna get model quality women with just saying hi but whatever that even means but uh yeah so big simp first video out of the gate got us a big old simp um, the next video I was going to show you is this one. And that's when I realized I had to just fucking move on. So why am I telling you this? Because I want you to understand why I did this, why I spent over a quarter of a million dollars in two years of my life trying to crack the code to online dating. It was born from pain, pain of losing the love of my life. I started to get this intense desire to move on, to find someone new to find someone that I could actually love. And that intense desire fueled this crazy online dating journey that led me to discover not only the best opening message that's ever existed, but an entire system to bring model quality women into your life. And perhaps the greatest online dating secret ever discovered called the signal to noise ratio, which is- the Okay, um, yeah, that was uh, another part of it and I, I just wanted to point out something I feel like is interesting. Um, so this whole idea, right? Like, it's obviously a pickup artistry kind of thing. Like, you know, anytime you boil, like, attraction or the ability to, like, get girls, quote-unquote, into, like, a science, it's obviously, like, a pickup artistry thing. And 
you know, traditionally speaking, pickup artistry is used mainly for like people who want to get laid. Like it's, you know, it's, it's people who want to try to attract women to get laid. And, you know, again, nothing wrong with wanting to get laid, but please don't be a creep about it. But then there's like that part in the video where he's like, I'm going to teach you the secrets to attract model quality women. And I just don't, I just don't understand like what's is the idea to like find a partner or is it to just like get laid you know and it, does it work on both because you know I, I don't I don't know I guess it's just like a it's a confusing like are you trying to find a life partner or are you trying to have a one night stand like make up your mind don't sell it to me like it's this revolutionary thing that's gonna get me all of these girls and then be like, but you'll also find the one. Because it's like, okay, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just for dates. But regardless, it seems kind of silly to me. This next part's going to be a little bit longer, this next video that I'm going to play. Um, but I think it's uh, I think it's important that y'all hear what he has to say. This is his big advice for an opening Tinder message. So, What if I told you that you could steal the same emotional triggers that work for viral videos and apply it to your dating profile. Imagine getting a girl's attention immediately. It's human psychology. It's teachable and learnable. And right now, I'm gonna gift you my best performing opener I've ever used in my life. And when I used it, it got a 78% response rate. I'm gonna show it to you and you'll understand why in a second. I first found this line on Reddit a long time ago and it was posted as an example of an epic fail. But I realized if it was used on purpose, it could create an epic emotional high. So we tested it. Can you see why this works? Literally no one is using this approach right now. It's fun, it's silly, it's memorable. It gives her an emotional high that no one else on the app is giving her. Think about her experience scrolling through Tinder. She sees the sea of boring messages. Then all of a sudden she snaps into focus because she sees a message from you calling her fat. Her eyes widen. So that's that's interesting, right? Like, okay, like, you know, first off, your advice is to emotionally manipulate the women that you're speaking with on dating apps. So that's that's a good start. Um, second off, the the message that he showed there, it was a mistake. But if you purposefully do it, it's no longer a mistake. And I don't know, insulting someone to like make them like you more even and then by like playing it off as a joke, it kind of just sounds like negging. And I'm pretty sure that's like pickup artistry 101, and I don't think that people like to be called bad names even if you think say it's a joke. And then, you know, it's it's just one of those things. It's like it feels gross because I know that you aren't joking about it, you know? Like, if I was to say that and I intentionally did it, then it's like, it's not a... I mean, I guess it you could say it's a joke, but it's not like a mistake anymore. And that just seems gross and weird to me. Um, But the fun does not stop there at the profound video, you know, introing us to all of his seminars. Say that I was a, an eligible young bachelor, and I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to... I'm going to sign up for this class and I'm going to learn how to get girls. Then you would have the task of signing up for the seminars. Um, let me go through this really quick. So it says here on the website before you're about when you're about to purchase it that you get um, the system is one of the features photos manifesto Instagram mastery course best and worst cities for dating and the vault question mark and all of that all of those amazing all of that amazing content and material adds up to be seven thousand five hundred and ninety dollars but because they're so generous at endlessoptions.com they're going to give it to you for one hundred and ninety seven dollars two hundred dollars and you can have seventy five hundred dollars worth of value that's that sounds completely legitimate and like something that somebody would give away, right? You would cut your costs that much? Really? Like if this if this advice was 
was really the like the amazing thing that this gentleman is presenting it as why would they cut that much of the cost off like what gives them that incentive you know like we live in capitalism baby like there ain't no incentive to do anything for anyone unless it's profit motivated so it's like obviously the courses fucking suck i'm sure so you know that's cool um yeah two hundred dollars sounds like a good time um the ceo of endless options is a gentleman i believe the last name is pronounced hodge jesse hodge um i hope i said that correctly but uh yeah he's a he's quite an interesting fellow um oh also there's a sale timer on the on the website that's counting down and i'm i can almost guarantee that after it counts down the sale timer just resets because you know like what what say is the sale the two hundred dollars because it doesn't say anything about that i'm sure it just resets but anyway going back to our our boy jesse hodge here um he's a he's quite the individual there was an article I found written um, in Yahoo Finance on Jesse and kind of the same idea of what he uh, he was talking about before. I'm just going to put some screen screenshots of it up on the uh, the screen here and just some of the, the interesting points he makes. Uh, you know, he's he's a self-made millionaire, which arguably that doesn't exist, but that's a topic for another time. And he wants to help all of these rich people who don't know how to talk to ladies start getting ladies, you know. Um, he's saying it's it's difficult uh, being wealthy, you know. It's so hard when you have so much money and you're so successful that, like, it's so hard to get women. And, you know, to an extent, I see where he's coming from. I think that, you know, having insane amounts of wealth is gross, personally, but in my communistic views but uh you know i get how if you did have a lot of money it might be kind of difficult to date like a like a normal everyday person because you're just like have so much wealth but you know there's other people who have a lot of money that i'm sure you can date and you know see and the real kicker with this uh finance yahoo finance article is it says at the end here that his students are willing to pay thirty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars for his services, and part of me is like, "Huh? So you're charging rich people thirty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars for your services, but uh, you're gonna give it to me for two hundred dollars? Hmm, doesn't quite seem legitimate to me." And that's not even to just say how, again, gross it is to boil down the concept, like the concept of pursuing a mate, pursuing a partner to like a science. Because, you know, every human is different. Every human has different likes, dislikes, interests, um, quirks, if you will. And to say it's like, well, if you do this, this, and this, you can get any girl you want. You can get anybody you want. It's just gross because it it's not that way not only is he preying on the vulnerability of these uh these men that are buying his services i assume it's mostly men he's preying on their vulnerability and their lack of you know finding a partner but he's also um just spreading these really toxic ideas about what it is to be dating somebody what it is to you know, even sleep with somebody and how you can unlock it. And it's just typical pickup artist shit. Like, it's not anything that we haven't seen before, but I always, you know, like to keep my eye on those kinds of things because they always pop up and they're always the same and they're always just as dangerous. So if you are struggling to find a partner, please do not go to the endless options. It is not a good idea. And that's pretty much all that I had for the video today. Um, I hope y'all liked it. Uh, Again, I'm going to maybe do a couple more of these like more loose content ones where I just throw some things up and talk about it a little bit and give some commentary, if you will. And uh, this actually turned out to be a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. 
but um, yeah, just wanted to, to drop some content. I got some bigger videos in the works right now, so you know, I'll still be doing the, the normal video essays for anybody who enjoys watching them. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Like, subscribe, and uh, have a great rest of your day.